Hey guys, John here. Today's pigments patch is called Larger Than Acid, and that name is going to make a little bit more sense in a little bit. So with that being said, this is one of those patches where the corners of your mouth kind of go down and you look kind of angry and you just kind of move your head up and down at a slow tempo. So here we go. Okay, so I think you get the idea here. So the way this patch was made is probably the weirdest way I have done a patch. So I was going for something kind of like this. So let's take this sequence off here. Let's take our distortion down and it's kind of two patches within one, right? So here's kind of what I had at first. <laughs> If you know what that is, God bless you, but uh, yeah, then it turned into an acid patch, so he, you get basically two patches for one, so that's why it's larger than acid. So with that being said, let's go over this patch and see what it's all about. Let's turn the effects off here. Utility engine, we're not going to be using that, so don't worry about this one here. We're not even worrying about engine number two. We're only going to be in one engine this time, so a little bit simpler than most patches here. So this first engine is going to be down uh, 24 semitones or two octaves. It's going to be downward soft for the first oscillator, and that's going all the way out. The second oscillator is going to have a small change here on the fine tuning at 0 0.064, and it's also going to be a downward saw volume at zero. And we are also taking advantage of the drift knob at 0 0.010, and that's pretty much all we're going to be doing here. <laughs> So this larger <laughs> larger macro here is basically just controlling the unison voices, right? So right now we're at one. Which is a cool sound, but sometimes you want it a little bit larger than life, right? So you can make it larger, stereoize it, whatever you want to call it here. The detune is going to be at 1.50 and stereo 100%. <laughs> oh my god, it's fun to play. Anyway, this is going to be going to the formant filter, as you we can see number here, so filter number one. Now, this one is going to be interesting because we're going to be modulating this with an envelope. So our main frequency spot is going to be 0.687. The morph is going to be at zero, the Q factor one, and then the blend negative 8.49 dB. So what are we doing here? <laughs> So this is going to be kind of the most characteristic envelope of the entire sound here. So envelope two at amount of 0.25. So let's take a look at envelope number two. Attack's going to be one, decay 461 milliseconds, sustain zero, and then release 100. Attack curve, zero, decay curve, negative 4.24, retriggered by the poly keyboard. Now the reason I say this is the most important envelope of this patch is because just a little bit more modulation or a little bit less modulation, changing the decay, something like that, will really change how this patch sounds, right? So for example, if we change this decay, it doesn't have the same effect as it did before. So that's pretty much that there. Now we're also using a second filter, and then this is kind of more so just to get the flavor of this MS-20 filter here. So we're not really doing anything with our cutoff. It's still 20K, but we are increasing the resonance at 0.564, getting that nice characteristic of the MS-20. As we can see, the filter rounding is filter one's output goes into filter number two. <laughs> So before we leave this page here, we do have this FM macro, and as we turn this here, we can see that kind of moves here, which is going to be this knob modulated at amount of 0.23. So oscillator one and oscillator two are getting frequency modulated by oscillator number three, which is just a downward saw at the default tuning here. And yeah, that's kind of how that's working there. <laughs> So there's a lot of cool different timbres in between all these values here of this FM knob. Moving on to effects. So let's turn this on here. Let's turn off B. Let's take a look at number, uh, I keep saying number A, letter A. So first things first, it hits a multiband. So without the multiband. So 
So here we're kind of just compressing a little bit more of the top and here, the mid range, we're kind of losing a little bit of that. And kind of just focusing on the lows and the highs. From here, we can now go into a delay and this time is gonna be one over eight. So something kind of fast, the fine is going to be 0 milliseconds, feedback 0.352, stereo spread 0 0.040, high pass 60, low pass 4,672 hertz or 4.6k. Ping pong is going to be off, the dry wet manually is set at 0 but is modulated at a maximum value of 0 0.10 or 10%. And then we get another delay. This one is going to be 1 over 8 dotted, and then the fine 0% feedback 0.352, stereo spread 0 0.040, high pass 20 hertz, low pass 20k, the dry wet kind of the same deal, this should be all the way down, but it's whatever, it's 1%, but the total amount is going to be 0.12 or 12%. Next up we have FXB, and this one is going to be hitting with a reverb. Free delay 20 milliseconds, size 1 DK 0 0.460, stereo width 0 0.5, high pass 200, low pass 15K, damping 0 0.600, dry wet manually 0, but modulated at 0 0.23 or 23%. 23%. Last but not least, we have distortion, which is going to be controlled from this macro down over here. As you can see, when I turn this here, it moves the dry wet. That full value is going to be 0.81 or 81%, sounds like this. You really get some nice acid sounds with that distortion there. The drive is 23.2 dB. Auto should be on here. The output should be left to default. I didn't change anything. So negative 10.5 dB. And yeah, the dry wet 81%. I think we already covered that there. So yeah, so once you get this patch, it's basically a sequence with a sequencer enabled, and you can do a lot of cool stuff. A lot of fun there if we turn down the fm and turn down the distortion take off the sequence we get something large like that so uh hopefully you learned something from this video if you'd like to get this patch it's for free in the video description below and yeah thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one